welcome everyone uh, to another crazy week in 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 the financial world. You know, there's so so many things going on. Uh, I'm going to try and cover a number of them. Shell, which is a giant, giant uh, oil company, they cut their dividend uh, yesterday, yesterday or the day before. Uh, I'm not sure from what to what, but the point is they haven't had a dividend cut for 80 years since the 40s. So, you know, you, you think about people that buy things for income and, and now you're, maybe your income isn't as, as sacrosanct as you thought it was. Uh, American Airlines, somebody put out a report yesterday calling it for a, a, a dollar a share, saying it's worth a dollar a share. Stock uh, is trading right now at 11 bucks. I'm pretty sure that's the weakest, they got the weakest balance sheet of all the major airlines. So, so you know, there's some crazy stuff going on. Uh, it, it, you know, you, you talk about oil, like oil had that crazy move when the, when the uh, May contract expired. It's been going up every, not every day, but yesterday was up sharply. Today, I think it's around 19 and a half for the June contract. In another uh, two and a half weeks, we're going to, we're going to see that contract uh, come to an end. And it'll be interesting to see, you know, what kind of uh, dynamics are at play. Uh, uh, you know, you know, are we going to get another sell off or are there are a lot of people betting that what happened in May is going to happen in June. And I'm talking about the contract, not the, the calendar month. But, but you know, it just could be that everybody's loaded up now short the, the June contract, at least the, the, the retail people. And that may cause a, a short squeeze in oil. That, that just, you know, you, you just can't rule out any possibility. Big, big week also for, uh, for earnings. Like all the major companies reported. Uh, you know, we saw Microsoft come out and beat the street. Uh, Microsoft surged. Uh, many, many stocks reported, and 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 uh, stocks went up. I mean, it's 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 a bit crazy. Yesterday, uh, last day of the month, uh, we had Apple and uh, we had uh, uh, Amazon come out, and and Amazon actually shot up to a all time high. Uh, just before the market closed, uh, 24.75, something like that. Stock's never been there, ever. The results come out five minutes later and the stock's down 130 bucks to 23.50. Remember, two days ago, the stock was 23.50. So it, a lot of these movements are just, <coughs> excuse me, pluses and minuses. Uh, today, Amazon, I think, closed below twenty three hundred, down about, you know, close to two hundred dollars for the day. Apple came out. Apple wouldn't give guidance. Uh, said they uh, seemed they they seem to think that things are stabilizing, but they wouldn't give guidance. Stock was up briefly. It sold off a bit. Uh, it was a pretty crappy day. Uh, a friend of mine uh, who's a pretty savvy trader says a lot of things change. At the beginning of every at the beginning of a month, so we'll see we'll see what 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 uh, what the, the, this next month's going to bring us. Uh, also, interest rates interest rates have been kind of steady, not really doing anything. Uh, the 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 ten year rates around the point six level. Now I haven't checked it for a little bit. Maybe we'll put up a chart up a little later. Uh, the the Fed Fed uh, uh, came out with their uh, monthly decision on interest rates. I think it's monthly and said no change. And then uh, the chairman spoke and he said that they would do whatever they had to do to try to kick, kick the can down the road. That's my, my, uh, my interpretation of what they're doing. Uh, yeah. So they, they have tools available and I, you know, they're buying, they're, they're buying everything right now, except stocks. Uh, everybody's talking about, will the, the fed get into buying, ETFs and stocks. I guess they do that in Japan. Uh, I, you know, rates don't move. I can't see why, you know, rates are really, really low, as low as you can expect. Uh, I, I got to believe that, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're sort of caught here between a rock and a hard spot. 
Okay, so we got we got a chart of the S and P five hundred, which is uh, you know probably the the, the go to index if you're looking at uh, directions of equities in the United States, and and we can see back in here the all time highs, which was just as we headed into the end of Mar uh, February, and then we started hearing about the virus more and more, and then swoosh, and we've been coming out of it. Okay, again. Best month for the S&P since 1974. Anyway, so here, here we are, and that was the high we had two days ago, and we've come off quite uh, in a pronounced way. And, and we look to be like, look, if you look at how fast we've come down, we're going up, but we're not going up in the same. This, this is not a V. That would be a V. We're departing from a V. Now, the question is, are we going to just go sideways? Because we, we have, you know, a bit of a channel there. We're going back and forth. The markets were pretty ugly today. Uh, you know, th this is a work in progress. I mean, you can say all you want, but there's a chance that if you make a prediction here, you could be totally wrong. So let, let's, look at, uh, let's look at oil now, okay? This is that crazy thing that happened that when, when, the, when the May contract expired. And we went to minus almost minus forty dollars a barrel. <laughs> it's hard to even comprehend. Uh, this is fifty dollars back in here. That's fifty to the plus side. That was uh, towards the end of February. So there you go. End of February fifty. Today nineteen seventy six. That, that's probably the the June price. And that's come off of from from way way uh, when this when this reversal took place. It's been up for oil. Now I, I can't imagine oil going going much higher, but clearly, clearly that that's a that's an event that we may never see again as long as we live. I don't want to say never because anything can happen. Okay, let's chart. I want to take a, a a look at Amazon here. So so three months. That was a level we dropped all the way down here to under seventeen hundred. Again, remember. Amazon's in everything. You can't just about do anything without using Amazon. Uh, and then it started to launch. This is the middle of March. And here we hit, you know, th these are close to all, these might be all time highs. And then, you know, the, then it falls off and then earnings come out and the thing shoots up. And that's an all time high right there. That was yesterday at five minutes to four o'clock. The earnings came out and they missed on the bottom line, citing uh, expenses related to, you know, like there's a lot of additional costs being borne by companies to deal with this social distancing, as we all know. The, re the re revenues are there for Amazon, but they missed on the bottom line. They were looking for about a 620 or 630 a share, and they got $5 a share or something like that. So they missed by about 20%. Well, what did the stock do? It, I think it's down about 10%, 10%. So what's going to happen? I don't know. Back in uh, 2008, I think the Fed's balance sheet was just under a trillion dollars, something like 800 billion. With all the stimulus that they're, that they're talking about, they're going to do this, they're going to do this, they're going to do this. People are saying by the end of this year, that 0.8 of a trillion back 12 years ago is going to balloon to $12 trillion. So, you know, we're talking about numbers. These numbers are almost un un unfathomable, unfathomable, unconscionable, whatever you want to say. You got to believe there's got to be some inflation at some point. So, you know, there's a lot of talk about Boeing, right? Boeing, Boeing's, uh, you know, they had issues before this. <clears throat> Excuse me. They are saying that uh, they went to the, 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 the credit markets yesterday. They were actually able to raise $25 billion in the credit markets at, I think the rate was, five to five and a half percent. Now, I don't know about you guys or the people listening, 
But if you if you're uh, Boeing right now, I, I think it's a bit of a stretch that we're at the bottom. I, I mean, it's just so much unknown, right? Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you next week.